So you might be trying to figure out how you can lock applications on iOS 18. So they'll require either face ID, touch ID, or a passcode or something in order to unlock it. It's a very basic process. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have face ID or something set up on your particular iPhone. So you just want to make sure you have that set up. If you do not have face ID you know, set up, it's not going to work. So make sure you do that. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to find the application that you want to basically lock. So in this case, I don't know if there's a way to lock all apps, but for specific ones, let's say I wanted to lock Temple Run 2. I don't want people to look into Temple Run 2 unless I, you know, unless, unless it's me or something. So what you can do is you can hold down on that application until you get into this panel. It's basically the same panel whenever you want to move an app, it's kind of the same thing. And there's going to be a new option right here that says require face ID. So now what you can do is click into that require face ID option, and you can see it'll give you a few options. It says you can require face ID or you can hide and require face ID. These are two different ones. So hiding and requiring face ID will move it into your app library in a hidden folder. We don't want to do that for now, unless you want to do that. You can just click require face ID. And what's going to happen is it's going to you know, make you do face ID real quick. So just do face ID and then it will go ahead and lock that application. Now, when you go ahead and open up that app, it's going to bring you into this panel and it's going to basically require face ID in order for it to actually you know, open up that app. Now, if you want to cancel out of it, let's say you don't want this application to, I guess you can't even get it out anymore, but unless you want this application to not require face ID anymore, you want to hold it down like this and you want to click don't require face ID and then, it'll, you know, just scan your face like one more time and then we'll go ahead and basically allow you to open that application by anybody. So that's how it works. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.